it's Sharon from Be Divine Vintage doing something a little bit different today. I'm showing you some of my mum's work as opposed to my own. Um, if you've been watching my YouTube, you'll have heard me talk about our Wednesday afternoon crafting where we've been making the lace books. Mine's not quite finished yet. And if you follow my Instagram or my Facebook, Be Divine Vintage, you'll have seen pictures of mum making this as she's gone along. Um, she, mum has not stitched anything like this before, although she's got a history of dressmaking, uh, a long history of dressmaking. So here's the book. It's mainly vintage uh, lace. And this is a modern applique. So very few modern things, though. The majority is vintage. This is a little vintage um, pin cushion she's popped on the side there. A little girl in a sock. And she's popped a thimble in there. I think that's really cute. Here is half a spool, half a wooden vintage spool with some cotton around. And I made her a little dangle. So with some vintage beads and little vintage sewing bits and bobs to go on the bottom of the... That does fasten. It's me. I've had it open and not fastened it very well. The back is vintage lace with vintage doily stacked and some mother of pearl vintage or antique buttons on there and underneath the, the base is this lovely pink uh, rose print fabric so as you've seen the front opens with a magnet and it comes into three pockets here so we'll start with the let me move that this dress outside i'm sure she'll Oh, I'm sure she wouldn't want black suit on her uh, book. So she's made this book for me. So I'm um, using a lot of her vin her own vintage ephemera she's put in there. So we'll start with this pocket. So here are some Bible quotes that I got from Peggy. So thank you, Peggy. I've put them in here because this is something for me to keep and treasure for always. So it's be still and know and he restores my soul. I do love those. Those two quotes just arrived on a day when I needed those as well. There's this little uh, clip, measuring clip. Pop that in. Buttons, vintage buttons. This is, I made this little uh, envelope for her using a line dot arrow sewing kit. Just pop some, uh, pop, we've put some charms on there and there's two darning cottons, vintage darning cottons, they're in there and in there. We've got a uh, vintage pattern which was shrunk down, printed onto fabric and stiffened, she's just popped that in there and I love this, this is a vintage, uh, I feel simply naked without my freshwater pearl buttons and there's three Freshwater pearl buttons there. This beautiful woman. Um, what would you say? 50s, 40s, 50s. And on the back it tells you about the vintage pearl buttons. So there we go. That's in there. The middle pocket here. Let's take these bits and bobs out. So she's got one pocket at the back. And in there, she has put these uh, darn it and mend it for kids, for all kinds of fine hosiery. Kids, that's in there. Some buttons. And then these vintage scissors. Which I just made of this little thing to put them in something to put them in here's a little pocket and in the pocket is well there's a um, needle threader some pins this don't know what that is what is that that oh that's a little tiny needle case that's in there there are some more needles candlewick needles all in the original packaging i'm not going to undo them let's put that in there there is this, she's left the thing on knitting needle, gosh, these are things that she's bought from her own, or these are like she's bought in her own collection. And there are some hook and eyes, 
there. Small, medium and large. Those look like the large ones. So those are in the middle pocket. Oh, and oh, she stitched, she stitched that on there. That looks good, Mum. Right, some uh, anchor thread. I think it's anchor. So on the third fold, let's just take these out. The third pocket, I mean, on the third fold, we have got um, a little pocket here. And in here is like a kilt pin, some little buttons, and there are some little tiny scissors. She's just pinned that. Those in another the pit they kept jumping out. Uh I'll put that there. And this is a vintage applique that I've dyed in the past. Um oh in here there is oh, look at this, it's got safety pins in. How amazing is that? I like that. Little, uh, wow, look at the workmanship in that. Just to pop your safety pins in. Oh, I love that, Mum. Little uh, Suffolk puff with a vintage glass button. So in this pocket, she's got... Oh, sorry, these are for making lace. These are vintage. Lace making. I think they're from the 60s. She's got some snap fasteners. Some more. That's printed on fabric. Some more of that. It's like got pieces of sewing patterns on she has got some buttons here linen covered buttons and uh, another little packet what's in here oh there's some tailor chalk look at that a virtually complete piece and your personal monogram set what's in here oh the oh look at that there's the silks and then a little pattern in there of the monograms for you to embroider your own. Oh, I love that. I've never seen one of those. Presented free with a woman. She's so for on shirts and for shirts or blouses, on table linen and pillowcases, on baby clothes, lingerie, handkerchiefs, your personal monogram, hand embroidered can add a delightful individual touch to all these and many more. I've never seen anything like that. Love it, Mum. I've collected some good bits and bobs. Another little spool. This is the line dot arrow. Um, she's got a little word on there, seam. So that's the... Zoom out a bit. That's the three middle pages. Like I said, it's a trifold. So this folds over and there is another pocket here. She's put a little, she stitched that on there and it just says handmade with and a little heart. Handmade with love. It's a Suffolk puff. Let's have a look what's in this pocket. Oh, she's put a little heart because she loves sewing. Oh, that's really, um, I remember saying she used a Jones machine like this. She wanted pictures of ones that she'd used in the past. I'm really chalking up now, Mum. This is so beautiful some threads just a little piece of where we've printed onto um the fabric dubri patterns she and that's folded over so there's some on the back she loves patterns but she was trained that she can just sort of look at your measure here and make your own pattern she didn't really need to use pattern patterns she did i can't remember the training it's a specific type of training that she did when she was a, a girl that's in the back pocket she's put a dolly painted dolly peg that's in there she put um some anchor thread embroidery thread and this my lady's mending compact a useful assortment of soft and silky holes mendings in the latest seasonal shades, help us by purchasing this compact. Green Acres Congregational School, Oldham, for the new advance fund of the London Missionary Society. Look at that. Supplied by Percy Addy. 
Bradford. And that's in there. So that is the book. I think you will agree with me that she has done a beautiful, beautiful job. And I have got such an amazing keepsake there. But I said to her, yeah, there's only one of me. So this is great. But I've got two daughters. So um, I asked her if she was going to make another two. But she said, no, she's on two. We're on to like making some Christmas like stacked flowers with loads of ephem Christmas ephemera and things. And that's what we're doing at the moment. So I've no doubt you'll see that soon. So I hope you've enjoyed this little flip through i hope you love my mum's book i'd love you to comment i'd love you to subscribe i'd love you to go to my instagram and facebook b divine vintage spelled b-e-a-d-i-v-i-n-e -E. so the b divine is just a play on words for beads so um i will love you and leave you thanks so much for watching and i'll see you soon Bye bye